Hello and welcome to Ripmates. Today we're going to be working on this guitar. We're going to be doing some uh, trem work and replacing these studs, uh, which is, I know it's a very niche project, but I think some people out there will really find it useful. So let's go on with it. So let me explain the problem here. Um, there's these two holes here, which should contain some uh, posts. And that's what hole this uh, floating bridge sort of sits on. Now the problem we've got is the old posts have sort of become loose and I've also started to split the wood there through all the, the pressure the strings are under and that tilting on it all the time. Now this is uh, not uncommon, but a bit of a weird one. Um, however, it means that the guitars can perpetually out tune all the time. So what we've done is bought some brand new top of the range uh, studs um, and we're going to fit those and hopefully sort of resin and araldite all this uh, damage here and hopefully that should keep it nice and firm. Um, so the first thing is though, we've got a, these are slightly wider than the original holes so we've got to drill that out. So I've got a, um, it's a 10, 10 mil which fits snugly. I don't have a 10.1 which uh, is the actual measurement for this one. So I think what we're going to have to do is just fudge it a little bit and just wiggle the drill about. But we'll kind of get there. We want that snug fit anyway, so we'll end up tapping this in. So let's go on with it. So what I want to do first is measure the depth of these so we're not going too deep. So I've just got this little cane here. I'm going to poke that into where it is in a minute. Let's just do a little comparison on that depth to what we need to drill. So we feel like they should be bang on. And they are. Absolutely spot on. So that's good. That means we know the depth and we can use that. Um, so we just need to transpose that onto the drill bit now with a bit of tape. Go really slowly, just test fit all the time. Just making a few rough cuts with a chisel just to remove a lot of material at once on this side, and hopefully that'll guide the drill that way. Again the trick to this is just keep checking, keep checking because you can't add material back in. Just make sure they're sitting at the same level so we've got the same height. some two-part resin here. I'm just going to mix that up. Um, we're going to kind of spoon that into those gaps and hopefully it should make it rock solid. I'm also going to fill these little holes here. They were the screws from the previous uh, like metal brace. Take a matchstick and just work that in. So yeah, all those little gaps were peeling away. I'm just going to Ram this in there. It's not the prettiest repair in the world, but I suppose we're never going to see it again, are we? So the next job I've got to do while the resin dries on that is we've got some like marks on the fret. They're pretty dull. I think we just need dressing and sorting in general. So first thing we're going to do is just obviously mask them off. Uh, we're just going to mark pen them up so we know if we are sanding them or filing them, we can see what material we're using. So this one here seems to be the, um, the worst, it's got a dent in it, so I'm just going to start with a flat file uh, and just start to remove that and level it off. And just see, it's starting to go now, that little dent in the middle. I'm 
I know that's going quite flat on top, so what I'm doing is just trying to work the file so we do keep a, a round edge to it. There is proper files for this as well, but I just don't own any, so we're kind of winging it here. There we go. On to our next one, there's a couple of little marks there. So let's get rid of those. You can see really evidently where those dints are, it leaves the black. So the next thing we'll do is just tidy that up a little bit. So we finally got the studs in, all the glue's dried. I've left the masking tape on for now, just while I fit the trim. Um, but yeah, hopefully you found that useful and hopefully that's helped out a few people that have had similar problems to me because I've seen that floating around on YouTube. Um, so yeah, see you next time.